so many people are facing the problem in having the site visit when you go to the site visit actually what all the things that you need to see what are the checks are there first one is actually the quality of material second one is quality of workmanship third thing is consistency is required from in the drawing and on site also how to have the consistency these three things now how to check this the quality of material means actually quality of ingredient of the concrete and quality of the steel if the new cement has come you will see that it is warm you know that concrete is made up of what coarse aggregate then there is a fine aggregate then there is a cement m20 is what 20 newton per after 28 days of curing correct characteristic strength of the it cannot be more than 20 mm surface why surface area is so important one specific amount of cement right if you want to do the optimum cement content actually you know there is something called as water to cement ratio 0 0.4 0 0.45 like that actually the ratio is maintained surface area need to have a cement because it is the bonding agent surface area for the sand particle believe me the concrete will look like you know it's a beautiful concrete but it is not that right that's why the scientifically you need to work upon it concrete technology concrete this is a technology metal one now metal one is flaky in nature what will be the case volume is less surface area is so problem is not here problem is workmanship so along with this this is also important you are having best of the best material for concrete also if you are getting very bad you must go for it PPC is ordinary Portland cement PPC is yes what is the difference in both the cases in such a way it's a it's it will delay concretization I mean the settlement what is workmanship how do you do that so what you need to do is what is volume batching what is way batching try to control those areas thing that's why the workmanship is also very important it is very important because one cubic meter of concrete also if it is not done properly we don't know where the hell it is getting poured what is the consistency in drawing and the site whatever there in the drawing actually it should be there on the side you are having this is the main river now let's say this is the slab so bar number one is the major reinforcement or bar number two will be the major reinforcement when the span is shorter actually one will be the major as a structural engineer what you will do can you rotate like this the reinforcement is anchored inside the beam it's, it's impossible to do that thing what is the next thing you need to go back to your design sheets give that extended cover and see that whether the reinforcement is okay or not b d square which is d effective right if it is related to material you have to talk to the vendors to the client to the person who is basically site engineer the cover block distance size it has to be proper you know there is something called as pore strip Concreting will start that is the power that you are having and you if you do not know how to handle these simple things Actually, it would be a very big disaster guys. So there is a checking before concreting There is a checking during concreting and there is a checking after concreting because this is the place where structural engineer has to visit the site So how to check that also you should know so you are not going there as a site engineer you are going there as a design engineer but it site checking is one of the very important responsibility of a structural engineer okay all right then thank you so much